Okay. Um, it's been a bit, but there is a video in the works currently that involves Threat Blasters. Um, and I have a lot of them, kind of. It, I guess it depends how you define a lot. Um, so as such, um, I'm, I'm going to be going through the ones that I have. I'm going to be ranking them from 11th to 1st because I'm ranking 11. Um, my brother has some as well. We're not going to discuss those. Only the ones that I own. Um, as well, this is not... This isn't really a ranking of a blaster individually. I'm not going to be like number out of 10. Um, rather comparing it to everything else. So with that said, at number 11, oh, they're not all nerf blasters. Most of them are not, but there are a couple. Um, at number 11, we have the Jolt. The Jolt is a front-loading T-Prime blaster, um, and it has one shot. Um, so you pull the, uh, the little air thingy there, and then <laughs> you put your dart in the front like that, and then you can fire. The Jolt fires kind of far, and it should be noted that I am um, taking several things into the ranking, aesthetics, um, distance, um, it tactically, that kind of thing. Um, and when putting all that into consideration, Jolt kind of sucks compared to everything else. Um, like I said, there's not even any storage to hold at least another dart there. Um, so once you're out, you're kind of, you're out kind of thing. Now I will give the jolt some points. You can like push up here and that will shoot the blaster, but that's kind of it. Um, anyway, moving on to number 10, we have, and I don't know the name of this one. Um, I think it's the Falcon, the Adventure Force Falcon, but I'm not completely sure. Very similar to the jolt. This is a front loading. Um, I'm forgetting what it was, what it's called. Anyway, with this to prime it and their storage for two extra darts. Um, without shooting the um, the bullet, you can or the dart, you can actually pull back on the trigger and move this back. You can also move it back manually. Uh, it's pretty satisfying. You can do some cool little tricks with it. Um, but overall, it's just kind of a bit of a bit of a bigger jolt. Um, it is a little better, uh, but like I have no idea where that went. Uh, tactics wise, it's just okay. Um, now moving on, these ones are pretty good, kind of, um, like, those last two were just okay, this is one of my favorite ones aesthetically, um, but everything else, eh, um, there are a couple though, um, you'll, I'll say that later, anyway, next up, we have the, uh, Nerf Recon Mark II, this is a modular blaster, top prime like this, magazine fed, it has an end strike, um, Barrel attachment here, and then strike stock attachment here, as well as some tactical, as well as some tactical rails down here, here, and here. Um, it is magazine fed, so to load the magazine, you pull back on this, you push the magazine in, you pull that forward, and then just like that, you're ready to shoot. It doesn't shoot very far, and to be fair, even though it's magazine fed, kind of sucks. Um, but any magazine fed blaster that shoots darts is a good blaster. Um, but it's on the lower end mostly because of its poorer performance. Alright, next up we have the Adventure Force Thundershock. Most of these are Adventure Force. It's worth knowing that they're made by Dart Zone. Um, the Adventure Force Thundershock is kind of bad. Um, to prime it, you pull back on this, which is really cool. Um, because you're like, oh, I'm like gonna be like cowboy. I'm gonna shoot, shoot, and then I'm just gonna pull back on the uh, hammer here. But like, you can't reach this. That's not cool. While I'm thinking about it, um, it's worth knowing that the Recon Mark II comes with a six-round magazine by default. Anyway, back to the Thunder Shock. It has an eight-round capacity. It has a um, what is this called? A drum? A um. Oh man, I'm complete rotating cylinder, and you can actually hear it click if it's full, like this. I don't know if you can hear that. If it's empty, the click is much louder. But as I was saying, one of the biggest complaints, you can't reach this hammer normally. You have to pretty much hold it with two hands to pull back. And even then when you do, it sucks. I got my dog angry. It's okay, TV. Uh, <laughs> <coughs> Aesthetics wise, it's okay. I like the orange barrel with the blue. 
but otherwise it's kind of bad. Oh, by the way, uh, to demonstrate the um, clicks, um, here is it full a couple of times, and here's an empty. You can tell the difference, full, empty. That feature of it is cool, um, but otherwise it's kind of bad. <laughs> uh, it's not too great. Um, moving on, oh man, this is going to potentially be a bit of a crazy pick for number seven. Um, but number seven is the Adventure Force Decimator. This thing is a beast. It has a 40 dart round capacity with two separate 20 round drums that feed into each other. And you attach it into the glass wheel like this and then it's ready to go. Now, this trigger doesn't work. That's just aesthetics. You cannot physically push down on that trigger at all. Um, it would have been nice if you could though. Um, instead, the way to shoot it is you pull back on this instead. So you just pull it back on it and it shoots. It's very inaccurate and it takes forever to load. That one actually went kind of fresh. It's also hemp powered, which is just kind of okay sometimes. Um, I wouldn't use it for anything, um, like at all. But you know, it is an option. It's just, it's fun to use, don't get me wrong. It is incredibly fun, um, but it's just kind of, you know, there. I need to go find those darts. Darts have been found and I've also found number six. Number six is the Adventure Force Alpha Rogue. Uh, they used to be made in green, um, I don't know if there are any more. Uh, I find them in red a lot now. This is a bolt action. Um, so it's pretty fun to load, of course. Um, so essentially, um, discharge it right quick. So you take this little bolt here and you just push that back and then you load your dart into it like this. And then you just, and then it's already ready to fire. It's pretty fun. There is a removable scope in case you don't want that. If you do want that, there is that scope option. I think my dog sneezed. And um, it is incredibly accurate as well. Um, like, wherever you shoot, it's pretty precise. And I don't find that a lot of the darts go off course with it. It's very fun to use, and there's even some extra storage on the back. The only reason why it's so low is just because I'd rather use some other options. But it is an option regardless. And it's pretty fun, too. So we are now in every blaster from here on out, I would consider a primary, but this next one does have a bit of an exception. The Adventure Force Trimax, number five. It's pretty great. Um, it does rotate uh, when you go to prime and shoot it. Uh, even the trigger is kind of cool. You can shoot it here or here, up to you. Um, and that's really nice about it. The only reason why I would say this is good though is because you can buy these, or at least you used to be able to buy these in a two pack um, where it came with two of them. And, um, you know, you could like dual wheel, pew pew. Um, I do have the other one, I just grabbed one for this demonstration. Maybe I should have grabbed them both. Anyway, uh, it's very fun to use. And for the most part, it's pretty accurate as well. Like if you try to use the sights on it, it's probably gonna hit where you're aiming. Um, now to be fair, I am using waffle head darts with this blaster so that it would make some bit of a difference. But for the most part, um, it's very accurate, it's very precise, and it's very fun, but it's only really great if you use the, um, uh, if you dual wield them. As well, it has a three round capacity, and whenever you pull down on this priming handle down here, it rotates, and then you can take a shot. A shot on microwave. Um, and then, you know, you can pull it back, and then you can shoot it again. Very fun blaster, but you should use both if you're using this as a primary. At number four, we have one of my all-time favorites. Now it's worth mentioning that I like my dart blasting pistols and the equalizer by, made by Adventure Force slash Dart Zone, exclusively sold in Walmart, is one of the best. I mean, the shape is great. It has a um, four round smart AR system. You can pull back like that and it's all ready to fire. Now, if you want to change which dart it's going to shoot manually, Say instead of me wanting to shoot this one, I want to shoot this one instead. I can pull back a little bit, and then when there's more resistance, once I push back on that, it'll switch to the next one. So now instead of shooting this one, it's going to shoot this one. And it's pretty easy to take advantage of in that way. 
as well. It's very accurate and it's so fun to use. Uh, this is a great primary for Nerf Wars and um, it's great. I love it. Uh, it comes in a two pack and I think it was 11 Canadian dollars, but I'm not completely sure about that. Uh, so don't quote me out, but you know, otherwise four round capacity, small pistol can fit in your pocket. Um, it's great. And, um, you know, pretty awesome. Uh, but of course there are two, uh, there are three others higher than this and we're about to get to that. All right, at the number three spot. Now, be caution. I just bought this yesterday, but oh my God. This, excuse me, is great. This is the, by the way, uh, all of them from here on out are Adventure Floors. So all of them from like um, eight downwards are Adventure Floors. But this is the Adventure Force Blitz Fire. It has a removable scope um, and it is a six round rotating cylinder blaster. You pull the trigger and it will rotate the cylinder without shooting a blaster. This thing shoots far, it shoots fast, and it hits so hard. Now, um, I am a fan of it without the scope on it, but the scope is incredibly hard to remove uh, sometimes. Anyway, to prime it, you pull back on this, and you can see that it's primed by the fact that this little notch is pulled out. And then, once that's done, you just aim and fire. That's hilarious, I had a jam. Okay, once that's pulled back, you just aim and fire. Very accurate. Um, and then once you're ready to shoot again, you just pull back and the cylinder will automatically rotate and you can shoot again. My dog is very upset by this blaster apparently, uh, so I should tend to him. What? He's good. Um, anyway, it's very small, it's very compact, and this is my favorite looking blaster. I like the color scheme. I um. I like like the engravings on it, uh, even the grip as well. It's so comfortable. Like comparing it to this, this is great, but the grip pretty much goes right to the bottom of my hand, whereas this there's so much extra space, um, and the cylinder is so nicely made. When you go to load it, by the way, um, I'll turn it a couple of times. You can see here, uh, there's these grooves here, so you can load it in either of those spots. But overall, this is a very nice blaster and one that I would highly recommend. Six rounds, very strong. Once again, very sleek. You can easily fit this in a holster of some kind. Um, again, very much recommended. And now we are on to the top two. And in my opinion, these can be swapped around, but number one is just slightly better. <coughs> Excuse me. At number two, this came in a two pack. And unfortunately, I don't know the name of that two pack, but other than, I don't even think this blaster really has a name. Um, the name that I got for it was long string of letters and numbers, BBT1902. It is this, it's very cool. It is a magazine fed pistol um, with a scope attachment as well. My brother and I went to halves on, like we both paid half for the pack so he got the other gun that came with it and I got two magazines it's very nice to load it you pull back on this and then you put the included eight round magazine inside however the pack itself comes with three eight round mags and you just push forward and you're ready to shoot it shoots fast and so deadly accurate and then when you want to shoot again you just pull forward like that and then you shoot again the magazine release is super easy. You can just push this button down here and it usually just falls right out. Um, sometimes it can get a little stuck, but even then it's super easy to just pull out. I mean, it's not that hard. Um, it's very nice. I really love this blaster um, and it is one of my favorites, but there is one that's just slightly better and it's not a Nerf blaster. It is an Adventure Force. So if you're, a fan of um, dark blasters and you probably know the one that I'm about to mention. <laughs> now, I know I said I'm a fan of pistols, but this is the Adventure Force Spectrum. Um, what a blast. It is a motorized magazine fed blaster with two attachment points uh, with that are kind of rail style. One up here, one over here. Um, the, what's it called? The Blitzfire uh, scope, this one can actually sit on the top of these, um, which is kind of cool, I guess. 
um, and uh, you can adjust where the scope is, I like to have it there, and you can adjust where the handle is, I like to obviously have it there, not, not on the top, um, I wouldn't have the scope on the bottom either. This handle as well, there's a button on this side which allows you to adjust the handle, so maybe you want it more so like this, maybe you do want it dropped down like that. It's very sturdy and I haven't had it pop off for me yet. Um, as well, there is a removable stock, um, but you know, I like to have it attached like that. Um, and this is stock is also adjustable, so it can go down here. Um, it can go all the way off if you want. Um, I usually have it at, watch me not be able to get it on now. I usually have it at about the second point. You might want to hit it a couple times to make sure it's there. And then you can kind of aim. Like I said, it is magazine fed, so you just simply pop the magazine in. It includes a 10 round magazine, um, so you just pop it in like that. Now it's worth noting, apparently this is compatible with a ton of other Nerf magazines. Um, and I did test it with uh, my 6 round Nerf magazine and it worked. I also tested it with this magazine and it worked. So most of the magazines that you might find made by Nerf or Dart Zone probably work with this blaster. Um, as well as the magazine little trigger is here. You just press that and the magazine will um, be released. You could also push it with your finger and it will just drop right down uh, very satisfyingly. And there is a little door here so that way you can open it and assess jams. Note the blaster will not start if you have that door open. Take six AA batteries and once you have those installed, you can press this button here and it will rev up. And then you can press the trigger and it will shoot. I have no idea where that dart went. Anyway, it is a very fast powered blaster. Um, and it's very fun, might I add, uh, to shoot this thing. It feels just like your John Wick. And what do you not want out of a blaster? That's all of them. Um, yep, that is every blaster that I currently have and was going to rank. I'm going to lay that there. Um, a couple of notes, pretty much the entire top five are primaries. You can use them as a primary. Uh, the best is definitely the Spectrum, uh, but then the other four you can um, kind of pick and choose. Uh, I would probably go with the uh, BBT-1902, but you can also use the Equalizer or the Blitzfire or even two Trimaxes um, as well. I should mention the Decimator is very powerful and fun to use, but its accuracy and the fact that it's kind of hemp powered, um, which is high action manual pump, um, you know, it, it does put a damper on. So if you're like, eh, eh, eh. Whereas instead of going like that, um, you're not going to shoot very far or fast. And that's sad. Um, as well, the Jolt, it's small and affordable, but of course, you know, it sucks. Uh, it's, I'm not a big fan. And the Trimax is, of course, better when dual wielding, but I don't even know if it's available anymore. And that is all of those blasters. Um, I'm going to throw in one more thing. This magazine, I have fit 12 in here. You can use 12. It feeds perfectly fine with 12. It's definitely designed for 10, um, but if you throw 12 in there, it's you're not going to ruin your day. <laughs> um, with that said, thank you for watching. Hopefully, the project that is in the works will be done shortly. Um, there's just maybe one more day of filming and then editing and then I will post it. I'm not gonna premiere it or anything. It's just gonna be uploaded kind of randomly. Um, I don't really have a name for it yet, but we'll see. Thank you for watching and um, you know, man, this was my first non Lego Mario video in like over a year. It's wild. Anyway, see you.